Hi, I'm Rick Gillespie. This here is David, our new hire. We're going to show him how to do the pre-trip on our trucks every morning before we start our day. All right, you ready to start? Yeah, Rick, go ahead and show me what we got to do. All right, the first thing we do, we're going to walk up to the truck, check it out, make sure it's still the same way we left it the day before. We'll check for any kind of fluid leaks or damage that may have been there before. So we'll go ahead and walk around the truck right quick. Let's take a walk. Right. Let's be visually looking up under the truck, shine your flashlight or whatever. Check for any kind of leaks, anything on the ground that might not have been from the day before. Just visually inspect everything, just look it over real good. We'll check our tires, make sure it's look good and round. We're not doing anything in depth, right, Rick? No, We're sir. Just looking for anything obvious that stands yes, out. From yes, sir. Visual damage, fluid leaks, stuff like that. So, which everything looks good so far. All righty. Everything checked out on that part there. So our next step, we'll go ahead and raise our hood. And while we do that, we'll check our hood latches, make sure everything's good on them. Right side looks good. Yep. Left side looks good. All righty. We'll go ahead and open our hood up. All righty. We'll go ahead and start up here on the driver's side of the engine first. So under here, Rick, what exactly am I looking for? First thing you're going to do is you're going to check your oil. Make sure oil level is at a good operating level. So. And this truck's been sitting, so I don't really have to That's correct. Off, That's right? correct. Yes, sir. That one looks good. So. We'll check for any oil residue spots, any kind of visual leaks or anything like that. Go ahead and make sure our coolant level is, make sure it's full. No visual leaks. Check our belts, make sure they're not dry rotted, cracked or frayed or broken, or they're there. What I can tell, everything looks good so far. Yep, we'll check, make sure our fan, none of the blades are broken or cracked. All right, we'll go around to the other side. On our exhaust system here, we'll check back here in the back where our flex pipe is. What, what, what exactly am I looking for? You're going to be looking for like a black soot, any kind of spots where it might be broken or leaking. If there is a leak, you'll be able to see it from all of the black soot that's all over the place. So. That looks pretty, pretty clean, Rick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just always keep in mind those right there are bad about failing because all the movement around of these trucks, that's like number one spot where they usually break. All right. We'll go ahead and step inside the truck now and do finish up. Cool. All right, so from here, where do I need to start? First thing you want to do is you'll start your engine. What you'll be looking for is you want to make sure all your gauges are working properly and rising like they're supposed to. So if you want to go and give it a quick rev, just make sure RPM gauge is working and oil pressure goes up, which it does. Next thing you do is go and turn all your lights on. All righty. Four ways are on as well. Good job. We'll go ahead and step on out. We're going to do it, walk down our driver's side of our vehicle. All right. Sure. All right, we're going to go ahead and proceed to follow down our driver's side of our vehicle, do our inspection on it. And for the sake of the video, we went ahead and cut the engine off due to the noise. All right, so the first thing we're going to look for is going to be looking at our mirror. Make sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked or broken. Looks good. It's clean, free of debris. We'll check our driver window. Make sure it's clean and free of debris. We're going to inspect the, the driver's side front tire here. Now, when I'm looking at these tires, Rick, what exactly am I looking for? Any kind of dry rot spots. Bad gouges in the sidewall and the tread, the tread depth and all that. So. All right. Good deal. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, check our fuel tank, make sure our straps are in place, the cap is secure, make sure it's not loose or any kind of visual leaks. We're gonna check our steps. Make sure they're securely mounted, they're not broken, which they are. We're going to check underneath the vehicle as well too as we walk down our driver's side looking at our lights. 
One more time, just in case something dripped, right? Exactly. You never know, because we had the engine running. So. I think we're good on that accord. Good deal. We'll check our lights up here, all our clearance lights and marker lights. As we're walking in the vehicle, let's do a quick scan, top and back. As we're walking, we're also going to listen for air leaks as well, too. Okay. So. Everything seems to be working. We'll just do a quick once over, make sure everything's mounted up, not going to fall off the truck, it's going down the road. After we checked everything, we'll go ahead and roll our drop axles here, just make sure they're free spinning. Check the tires on those as well. Same thing as you do on the front tire, just check these too. So what happens if I get to a tire and there's a defect in it? If there's a defect in it, you need to stop the truck immediately and contact your supervisor or your mechanic. Okay. And have These it. look good so far, yes. so we don't have to do yes. that. We'll go ahead and check our drive axle tires as well too. And back here, something you're looking for on the tires is the same thing as any other tire. But also you want to look at your axle here. Make sure there's no leaking around the seal. Make sure your lug nuts aren't loose or that of that nature. And if it was loose, you'd see a lot of shiny spots or rusty spots or where it'd been rocking out and back. These look good too. All right, good deal. Something we'll be looking for here is we're going to be checking our suspension components, make sure nothing's missing or broken. So after you get done checking your tires over, just kind of give a quick glance back in there and check that out as well. All right. As far as I can tell, everything looks okay. Awesome. We'll go ahead and move on to the uh, rear of the vehicle here. On the back side of a vehicle, we're going to be looking for our lights, tag light, make sure our tag is in date. Everything seems to be working pretty good. We have one marker light that's missing, but we'll wrap that up and right. have that turned in. That's not going to down the truck though. So when I'm looking back here on these, these lights and around the, all the way around the truck, if these boards up here are broken, how much can be broken or if it's, if it's missing, what's okay with these boards? Well, according to ceiling agent standards, if we have a chunk missing, that's okay. But if it's actually broken pretty bad, then we'll have to have it changed or addressed. So, okay, something yeah. else to bring up to the PM or even to the maintenance man. Exactly. Okay. So, exactly. So, but we're just going to keep checking our lights out on the back side here. Check our bumper, make sure nothing's broken. No hoses are hanging down. You can get caught on something going down the road. So. Check your rear diff, make sure it's not leaking. No visual leaks from the inner axle seals, which is good. If you had a visual, if you had a leak on the axle seal itself, a good way to tell that is right there on your brake drum, where it's coming out, it'd just be oily and greasy. The inside of your wheel would be real nasty. Right in there is where you would see it. Something to keep in mind next time you do your pre-trip on your own. All right. All right, we'll go ahead and start on our passenger side of our vehicle. We'll go ahead and do the same thing we did on the driver's side. But on the passenger side, it's a little bit different. So we'll go ahead and walk down this way and check it out. All right. So first thing we'll be looking for is your bumper on the back side here. Make sure it's not broken or bent real bad. Make sure we have our mud flaps, tires, and all that mess. But on this side, we have our actual boom. We're going to be looking for visual hydraulic leaks on the system and all that mess as well, too. So That's a little different. Yeah, a little bit different, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll go ahead and walk on up and check everything out. Do I need to worry about this yet, or do I need to go ahead and start focusing on the tires first, or does it matter? Usually I kind of work my way from the bottom up. Okay. That's how I usually do mine. So, But once you start doing it, you'll get in your own routine and pattern of doing it. So, we'll go ahead and start with the tires here, make sure everything looks good. Our suspension components the same as the driver's side, or on the passenger side.
looks good. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and check our boom now. Make sure everything looks good and securely mounted. We don't have no hydraulic leaks or anything of that nature. And something else we need to start taking care of here and catching. You see this safety chain here hanging down from the bottom? Down here? Yes, sir. Okay. It's actually supposed to be thrown over and latched here. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. So the more safe. you know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, tarp arm, it looks good. Securely mounted. It's not going to fall off going down the road as well. So our lights, our marker lights and all that stuff, still good. All is good. Yes, sir. Go ahead and finish checking our tires out on the drop axles. Something we're going to be looking for here is when we're rotating the drop axles, is there any drag on it? Is it hard to turn? Is it making any kind of weird racket or noise? If it is, that's when you need to contact your supervisor or your mechanic to address that as soon as possible. So these should freely roll? Yeah, these are no, freely roll, no yes problem. sir. No drag or anything. If there's any kind of drag or it's hard to turn, we have a problem with our brake system. Okay, that's so, a problem. Yes sir. <clears throat> All right, we're going to keep on moving forward here. Check our muffler, make sure it's not broken or it's mounted like it's supposed to. So, and same thing he was looking for on the back side of the turbo, the flex pipe, be the same situation here. Check for any kind of suet or leaks or missing components. We're in good shape, Rick. This looks pretty well back here also. Awesome. This here, we're going to check our steps as well. Make sure they're mounted. Check our mirror, make sure it's not cracked or broken and it's secure. Our passenger side window, we'll check that as well too. Looks good. All righty. All right. Before we shut our hood, we're going to inspect our front passenger side tire, same as we did on the driver's side, just on the opposite side here. All right. It's going to be looking for any kind of chunks missing out of the tire, make sure it's properly inflated, the tire depth and all that mess. All right, so we've checked all of our tires all the way around, and we've pretty much been all the way around the truck, so where do we need to go now? All right, we're going to check our steering system. Okay. This here is going to be your drag link. Right, we're going to take a look at our steering system here. We're going to check our steering box, make sure it's not leaking from around the seal here. Our pit manure makes sure it's good, securely mounted, all the hardware is there to hold it. Our drag link, we're going to grab a hold of it and move it, make sure there's no excessive play, which is not, it's in good shape. Also, we're going to look at our tie rod ends down on the bottom side. Okay. Make sure there's no excessive play or anything of that nature as well. All right. If all that stuff is good and okay, then where do we need to go from here? We'll go ahead and go around to the driver's side of the truck and check out as well too. You actually have two steering boxes on this truck. Yep, on this side here, we're going to check our steering box as well. Same as we do on the passenger side, but on okay. the driver's side. We'll check our drag link, our tie rod ends, make sure it's all secure. No, not a whole lot of excessive play in it. I think we're good to go. It checks out on both sides. Awesome. We're going to check our oil level here in our hub assembly. Do you see that? You'll have the line there. Okay. Always want to check that before you take off. And again, something else, if the oil level is low, can truck, this vehicle still be operating? No, sir. Truck is down. Okay. So you could overheat the bearings, possibly damage the spindle itself. Okay. So. Right. We'll go ahead and move the front here. We'll go ahead and close our hood. All right, Dave, we'll go, go over here and we'll go and look at the front end of our truck now. All right. So we'll be looking for here, make sure the grill is not cracked. Make sure it is mounted. Go ahead and grab a hold of it, give it a little tug. Something else, we're going to check our headlights, our turn signals, our four-way flashers. We'll look up top, check all of our clearance lights, make sure they're all working. If they're on the mirrors and one's out, then both of them have to be working. Okay. 
Also, we're going to check our windshield, make sure it's not cracked, make sure it's it's in there good. So. We're going to check our bumper, make sure it's securely mounted. No piece of it could be hanging down, it could fall off going down the road. All right, this part here is going to be the hydraulic check. We're going to be checking our boom, make sure everything's going to be working properly. The first thing he's going to do is he's going to extend the boom out. He's going to be running it. He's going to be listening for any kind of like high pitch whining noises from the hydraulic pump. Checking for visual leaks again as well. And it's coming around, he's going to be looking at the bearings, make sure everything seems to be getting a lot of grease. And then we're going to run the feed belt and the throw belt and make sure the chain on the boom is good as well. All right, this here is going to be our chain drive. Something we're going to be looking for here is our sprockets, make sure they're not real sharp, they're intact. We don't have an excessive amount of play in our chain, about a half inch, good rule of thumb. Make sure it's good and lubricated as well too. Now since we've got the boom racked up and ready for transport, we'll take our safety chain and wrap it over and hook it up. That safety chain's in place just in case you hit a bounce, a bump real hard. This thing doesn't bounce up and swing out and take out a car, sign, mailbox, power pole, etc. The pressure I put down on this isn't enough? Well, it could always fail. That's the problem about it. Okay. This is an extra safety precaution. Just what something we should do. And yes, have sir. To do. Yes, sir. All right. All right, we're gonna do our cab interior now in this session. First thing you'll be looking for is your fire extinguisher. Make sure it's in date, which is over here on this side. We'll make sure the pin is still in it and it's charged. Looking good. Awesome. Your first aid kit. We'll check our seat belt, make sure it's not frayed. Make sure it's securely mounted. Give it a good tug on the top and the bottom. That's good. All right, you'll perform your air brake test. Make sure it's gonna leak, it's gonna bleed down and build back up when it's supposed to. Make sure our air horn works. It'll be right there in the center of the truck. You also have a city horn in this truck as well too. We'll check our windshield wipers, make sure they work. Our windshield washer fluid works like it's supposed to. We'll do our uh, drop axles, make sure they come down as well too. And all your drop axles are located right there at the, the bottom. Well, after that, we're going to program our GPS to our destination and we'll be ready to roll. Sounds good. Let's get to it. All righty. I just want to thank y'all for taking the time to watch this video on our pre trip inspection. It's, uh, think safe when you're using these trucks. It's, they can be pretty dangerous. Well, stay safe out there and y'all have a good day.